Um, I am a gastric sleeve patient. I underwent the operation in December 2015 and I've lost over 100 pounds with that. Um, I'm currently a nursing student right now and I'm just finishing up school. It's like I spent most of my teenage years and my young 20s being overweight and not really getting the full experience or being confident, you know, in a bikini or at a party or wearing tight dresses. So, you know, I've hit this point now, I've lost all this weight, but now I have all this excess skin and I just want to be confident. And let's take a look at the tummy. Yeah, all right, very good. So what I look at is right in here. Okay. okay, this waistline, this hourglass right in here. Surgically, it's difficult to create this, but if you got it now, the body lift will just accentuate it. So that'll be much better. So that'll be really good. So all this will be gone. Out over the hips, uh, right up in there. That'll be good. And then on the back side, yeah. All right, very good. Let me show you a mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay. Uh, Decisions are going to come very low here. Okay. okay. Uh, have you hold up tummy for me? Very good. So I would probably bring it maybe right about here. That's perfect. Okay, so nice and low here, and then it comes out over the hips. Okay. okay. And then as it comes out over the hips, the side here will be tightened a lot. See all that? Yes, that's the, side. It's the thing I hate the most. Yeah, that'll be gone. That'll be gone. And then as it comes around the back side, you know, we'll get you that. Okay, so yep. you'll have a great shape in there. Okay. Drains will come out in the pubic region here, okay. as well as the pain pump. Okay. And then you'll be in a, um, a garment from about here okay. uh, to there. And all then right. you'll have a binder on top of that. And then all the drains will come out in here. Okay. Well, my drain incisions kind of look like this little one that I have. Yeah, even better. Even smaller. And they'll come out in here. And okay. you, when they heal, you'll barely able to see them. So that was a drain they put there? Or was no, that the scope? that was my scope. Yeah, yeah. I only that's had what, one. Yeah. I had four. Okay. Yeah, they do four or five. Or yeah, looks good. All right. Yay. Perfect. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's do it. Good. Any questions? Anything? Or do I go from right after surgery? <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good question. Okay. So you'll get there for the surgery. Okay. Pictures, markings, pictures. We'll mm -hmm. do the surgery. Um, we estimate probably, what, eight hours-ish, something like that. Okay. Some of, <laughs> some of that is anesthesia time where you're asleep yeah. and we're just cleaning you up. Yeah, yeah. Some of that is flipping you around, moving you around. Some of it's getting the garment on. So it's not all surgical time. Okay. okay. Then you're in the recovery room at the surgery center okay. for probably about two hours. Right. So that brings you there. Say we start at 8. We're done by 4. So we, you're out of there by 6 at okay. the surgery center. Then the ambulance, non-sirens blaring, mm -hmm. picks you up and transports you to Serenity, okay, which is in Santa Monica, across the street, not half a block, but across the street from a hospital, okay? okay. St. John's Hospital, one of the best oh, hospitals, yeah. mm -hmm. great hospital, okay? We're not gonna have to go there, mm -hmm. but just in case. So they pick you up by ambulance, take you to Serenity, and then I'll see you there the next morning, okay? okay? And then I'll see you the following morning after that, mm -hmm. where I expect you'll be able to go home at that point, okay? I'm just excited, like I have butterflies in my stomach. I'm not nervous. I've watched Dr. Katzen perform these, like I'm obsessed with watching surgery, so. So basically I'm um, drawing uh, the preoperative markings here. These are my vertical lines, my up and down lines. These are not the incision, but these are lines that help me get the body back together once I've taken it apart. So I know I need to connect that line with that line to get everything nice and straight. I have my family supportive. I think they just want me to be happy. Um, they're nervous, you know. Most parents are really nervous about a surgery like this, especially, you know, body lift is a big one. Um, but I, they just want me to be happy and they're very supportive. On my Instagram, um, Kayla Got Fit, I have quite a bit of following that is just an amazing support group. And it's funny, like, I haven't met any of these people, but they wish me all the best, and, and I think it's really cool to have that. They have, um turtle hatcheries mm -hmm. and they invite the public to help release the turtles. Mm -hmm. The turtles are like this big. Aww. So they hatch from the egg and they hatch at like dusk uh, almost before night starts 
and you've got to help them from their hatchery mm -hmm. across the beach into the ocean. Aww. It's so cool. Like this big, it takes them like three hours to get to the <laughs> water. So yeah, make sure the gulls and the penguin, oh, yeah, they, penguins, oh, but they're yeah. tiny. Oh, and no, they'd come down swooping. Them. So yeah, once they get to the ocean, they're like, oh, okay. Free. I imagine, yeah. Like, but but there are thousands. I mean, they're probably they're probably a thousand you release that wow. night, and probably like two will live to mm -hmm. adulthood. But it's so cool. Try to do that if you're in Maui again. All right, heavy yeah. drugs coming in. My boyfriend's in Michigan right now. Uh huh. Right now. Cool. Cool. He um rushed for the NASA. Oh, cool. That's really cool. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Heavy drugs coming in. Just relax. Pick out a good vacation. How about Maui for the turtles? Yeah, Swim with the turtles. Yeah. It's okay. It's the drugs coming in. Just relax. Just relax. Doing fine. It's the heavy drugs. Dr. J's special. She has a nice hourglass figure here. Her waistline goes in. All the excess skin and fat of her belly, uh, front of her abdomen, hips, it's all been raised. All this is nice and smooth and nice and tight. And you can bounce a quarter off her nice tight tummy. So she has a concavity here. So it all looks really, really good. I feel a lot more confident now. I feel like I walk with a certain, I don't know what, how to say it, like I guess I have more poise now, I feel. i just more confident. I just feel a whole lot more ready to like attack the world, kind of just like bring it on. Like before I felt like I was really just shy and timid because I felt like I was hiding behind my skin or when people looked at me, my skin was the first thing that they were saying. You know, they might not have been, but to me in my head, that's what I was thinking. So now, that I am completely like skin free. I just feel a whole lot more confident and happy. I'm really happy with my results. I feel amazing right now. I feel just everything's so much easier to do. Like you don't realize it, how much the skin, you know, uh, just makes it hard to do everything. Like I took a yoga class and it was really nice to do like downward dog and not have my skin just like in the middle and pulling you down or like everyday activities this is funny like I have to be a little bit more body conscious of my hip bones now because like I'll walk into chairs and be like oh my gosh like those weren't there before <laughs> I gotta watch out for them it's the best experience I've ever had the pain was all worth it and um, I would do it again <laughs>